weather is turning real bad real quick and we are about to be engulfed by dark clouds The journey began by taking a flight from Mumbai to Dehradun on day 0. And the next morning on day 1 we started our drive at 7 am from Dehradun to the picturesque Kotgaon village which is the base village of the Fulara Ridge trek. We reached Kotgaon at around 3:30 in the afternoon and relaxed for the rest of the day and had our trek briefing in the evening by a trek leader. just like that we made it to our first campsite akondi we played games in the afternoon and as the evening approached it was time to put the drone up in the air Hi good morning it's day 2 of our Fulara Ridge trek we started at around 9 in the morning and it's about 10 today's day is a short one just about like 3 kilometers according to maps and uh, we are almost halfway there in like an hour and 15 minutes so it should be an easy day today the group that i'm trekking with is just a small group just eight of us so it's nice and like compact 
and today is our DIY day and just like Brahmatal today as well I'll be trek leading the team mainly because I have the navigation map so I'm navigating the trail right now we have stopped at a rest point overlooking some beautiful mountain views behind me right there you can see all the mighty mountains you can see right here very beautiful stuff and yeah it should be a fun day today So in the afternoon we made it to Bojgadi which is our second campsite and today's day was a bit tiring than yesterday but uh, now it's evening time and we are out to play some frisbee so it should be a fun evening in the mountains it's also getting cold but yeah we are prepared yeah cool It is the main summit day today where we'll be going on top of the Fulara Ridge and climbing down the other side. It's super cold. I have to remove my thermals which is going to be the hardest part of today's morning. But uh, yeah, I'm overlooking some pretty nice views. Yesterday all the peaks were covered in clouds but today they are like crystal clear, the sky is absolutely perfect. I guess the sun is about to rise in the next 15 to 20 minutes so that should be good. Maybe get some alpine glow on the mountains. It'll make for some nice photos and videos. Yeah, look at this. If only if it just focuses. Yeah, all those peaks are snow covered mountains yeah <laughs> good morning <laughs> sleeping in the dining tent is the comfiest place you can ever get a good night's sleep <laughs> okay now onto the hard part of removing my thermals and changing into a new set of clothes wish me luck Stop to the finish line We'll go Together on this open road And tether these wild hearts Sleep underneath we started our summit push about like an half an hour ago And now we've just reached the starting point of the ridge And it's looking absolutely gorgeous from up here About 50 minutes later after starting from Bojgadi, we are finally onto the ridge. This is the beginning of the ridge, and the ridge goes all the way from here all the way to there. It's about six kilometers of walk on the ridge itself, so it should be a nice day with walking along the ridge and seeing some spectacular views. We'll go. 
so beautiful. The ridge walk is so beautiful, man. Just look at this endless, endless ridge. Also, my hand is bearing holding this heavy camera up. <laughs> Made it to the Fulara top, guys! This is our packed lunch for today. Ascending and descending down on the snow is a very tricky part that you need to be very careful. The weather is getting worse. The weather is turning real bad, real quick. We are at Pustara top now and we are about to be engulfed by dark clouds. The weather is always a challenge. This definitely has to be one of the hardest days in the mountains. We've had about six hours, seven hours of trekking today and we still have about two or three more hours to go. It's already three in the afternoon. So yeah, we'll be reaching probably when it's like about five. Finally, the campsites are so near. Today has been a very tiring day. Yeah, very tiring, very challenging. Definitely tested my spirits. We saw the winter band of the Milky Way in the evening and after dinner, our trek leader played us some beautiful songs on his harmonica. So yesterday was probably the hardest day I've had in the mountains. We started at 8 in the morning and we ended at 5 in the evening. So yeah, almost like 9 hours of just walking in the mountains. 
we had to ascend through a lot of snow which is unseasonal for this season in autumn you don't find any snow on this trail but uh, there was quite a lot of snow from last week's snowfall and yeah it made the trek way harder than it was supposed to be there was so much snow on the trail that while we were walking the snow was going inside our shoes which made the trek a whole lot miserable than it was supposed to be and after lunch the weather started turning real bad and we were about to be hit by snowfall and rains if we went a bit down so as we move forward the clouds also went ahead and luckily we did not have to trek through snowfall and rain it would have been so much worse because of the rains as we moved down there was a lot of mud on the trail and our shoes were completely covered in mud and we had to descend down through a very muddy section to reach our campsite so when you have such a long day and you trek for about 9 hours with a heavy backpack it takes a toll on your shoulders and my shoulders were completely dead by yesterday evening like all i wanted to do was just put the backpack down and just rest for rest of the day even today my shoulders have recovered a bit but still there's some pain in them and hopefully it'll get better in like one or two days time and yeah we are now starting the final day of the trek should be like 5 km descent which should be super easy it should take like about 4 hours at max and yeah then we'll be driving to our base camp which will be like an hour drive from the end point of the trek so yeah it should be a fun final day of trekking in the himalayas it's been a wonderful time here man i love it here i can't the day to see being in the north i wanted to have chole bhature on this trip and uh, today's breakfast is just that ye lo kitni puri yeah i am happy Finally, made it back to civilization. just like that my time on the fulara ridge trek was coming to an end we drove back to dehradun the next day and i had my flight back to mumbai the day after marking an end to this incredibly memorable trip hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye bye